morning. Got my poncho on. The rain's just settling down. hope it gets all out of its system today because tomorrow we're taking all the little orphan babies to the swimming pool in town at a resort <laughs> hopefully the weather doesn't ruin it um, we had another a pig walk through camp this morning and uh nelson informed me that she just had a whole bunch of piglets so eddie is taking me to the farm oh, we're gonna go see some little piglets here we are you know you're getting close to where the pigs are you can start to smell them Pigs, pigs, pig manure here in Uganda smells just like pig manure back in America. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hi there. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I'm quite curious what this camera is. <laughs> That's the Papa Pig. Oh yeah. Thank you ready? Thank you for taking me down yes, to see this. Yes, I'm actually I feel glad I'm with this. Yes. <laughs> this is nothing. Nothing is my friend. Eddie. Absolutely. And this yes. is Eddie. Eddie is my friend. Sure. Thank you, Eddie. You just I welcome. appreciate it. I just... Hey, look at this guy. Hey. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. All right. It's time to head down to the baby's home. I'm really excited today because yesterday some of them were misbehaving, and I promised them if they behave the rest of the day that I'd bring them a treat. So I've got some gum for them, and then for the ones that are too little. Got the peanut butter. Good morning, Jacob. How are you, buddy? Yes. Can we go inside? Eddie, how are you? How are you, Eddie? Good? Eddie in your big belly? Yes. Like the high fives? Yes. So you remember yesterday when Aunt Ashley talks to you about your behavior? Okay. And I said if you change your behavior, I will bring you a treat. Oh man, what a morning it's been. <laughs> we had all sorts of fun at the baby's home. Injured kids and new, uh, I gotta try some mushrooms, some the local mushrooms I just picked. They were fantastic. Uh, played games, taught the kids how to play Go Fish. They absolutely loved that, so now they have a deck of cards. They've been playing Go Fish all morning. And uh, had a good time. So, uh, headed now to the secondary school. It's at 3 o'clock. Gonna catch a boda boda over there. And then I think I'm gonna play soccer with them. And we'll see if, uh, see if I can hang. They all laughed at me when I said I played football. But we'll see. They told me Americans are no good at football. I'll show them what's up. Alright, so there was uh, nobody had a cell phone to call a boda, so I'm going to walk, which I kind of like because it's an adventure, and I'll get to see a little bit more of the actual forest from what it sounds like. So Ronald is taking me, he's going to point me in the right direction, 
and uh, I'll be able to figure it out myself. I think it's about a mile, maybe two miles. It's a friend. Ah, have you ever tasted it? Jackfruit. Yes. That is it. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that is jackfruit. I'm so walking on my own now. Ralph headed back. He was the one walking with me, to kind of show me the way. But uh, we're not far now. Anyways. <laughs> well, he's got he's got the limp. He got struck by lightning like six months ago. Uh, it's bad to me. It took out the solar panels on the roof of the guest house. Some people nearby in the building got struck, and he was one of them. No one died, thankfully, but. He's left with a limp. So, but anyways, as we were leaving, Vicky yells at him in Ugandan, but basically she yells out, she's like, don't you lose that Mazungu, <laughs> that she would be fired if he lost me. That uh, was pretty funny. Don't you lose that Mazungu. Look at this guy. <laughs> nope. Not worth getting gored today. There's a whole bunch of monkeys up here, all staring at me. Let's see if I can catch some of them. They're pretty skittish. There we go, here's one. What's up, fellas? Sorry I'm late. They're uh, just driving back from holiday, all headed to their different dorms. We're gonna try to get everybody together here and do some study, introductions, do some devotions, but right now, this is going down. You're making potions. Hey, are you filming? Yes. Gotta get the water boiling first. Lots of beans. That's what I have for lunch. Kosher and beans. Yes. Good stuff. And they're making lunch in here. Got poshu and beans. Oh. I already took lunch. Thank you. Huh? They really can take care of themselves. These are 14, 15, 16 year olds. You know. Freshmen to seniors in high school back home. I'd like to see what happens if you turn a bunch of kids back in America loose like this. You have Lord of the Flies on your hand. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Keep getting pulled to wait here, wait there. And people keep disappearing. But uh, again, one and a half to get time here, so five minutes is 30 minutes, 10 minutes is an hour. So, be patient, I guess. 10 points to whoever can solve that. I know what that is. All right, I'm finally on my way back from the secondary school. We finally got settled down and uh, had our study, our devotion. And then we had a, like a Q&A session afterward. And for the last, oh, I don't know, hour and a half, I've been answering questions about America and how far it is from here and what our weather is like and what time the sun goes up and what time the sun goes down. and all that stuff and they thought it was pretty crazy that the sun it changes different times of the year because here it's you know 6 30 in the morning sun comes up seven o'clock at night sun goes down every, you know, all year long so when i told them you know in nebraska in the summer 9 30 at night it could still be light out they thought that was crazy have a good day yeah. oh your little dog huh? can i pet him oh <laughs> Simba. Ah. Simba. <laughs> it's okay. Even the dogs haven't seen too many white people around here. <laughs> As you can see, that's the second dog I've come across that looks at me like, Woof! What's wrong with you? It's like he's stopping to shoot and take pictures. I better get back. It's almost dark. Vicky is going to be worried out of her mind when I'm not back. She's going to have half the staff of the guest house out looking for the crazy Mzungu who's out past dark. 
all the managers are gone for the night, so there's nobody here who knows how to work the power or the water. So I am without both tonight. Oh, no video editing for me as my computer's dead, but if I get some sleep, I'm going to get up and try and catch the sunrise in the morning. Anyways, now you see me. Well, no, you probably don't. <laughs>